King Air Special Mission Aircraft Wing Life Evaluation. The King Air was designed and certified as an executive transport airplane. This means that the King Air was designed to carry passengers from point A to point B by taking off, ascending to a comfortable cruising altitude, generally above 20,000 feet, and descending after an hour or more of flight and landing at the destination. The standard inspection program was developed to provide the level of inspection needed to assure that the airplane operates in a safe and reliable manner throughout the life of the airplane. Operators around the world have discovered that the King Air is an excellent platform for a number of missions outside the executive transport role. These missions, however, differ from what the airplane was originally designed for. The standard wing inspection program may not provide the adequate level of inspection to assure a continued safe operation of the airplane. The King Air Structural Inspection and Repair Manual, SIRM, states the following. This is typical for the section covering the King Air 200, but it reads similarly for other models. The inspection schedule identifies the inspection areas, initial inspection periods, recurring inspection intervals, and component replacement times. This schedule is based on airplane utilization, operation and maintenance, and the category of service for which the airplane was originally designed. Specifically, a pressurized executive or corporate transportation vehicle wherein the majority of crews is above 10,000 feet altitude and flight duration is more than one hour. Should the aircraft be used for missions other than that intended by design, such as air taxi, commuter air service, pipeline surveillance, livestock slash predator animal control, search and rescue, navigation aids inspection, extraordinary service at low altitude or unusually short duration flights, less than 30 minutes, the inspections specified in the standard flight profile inspection schedule are not appropriate for continued airworthiness of the airplane structure. In such cases, promptly notify Hawker Beechcraft technical support and a special inspection program will be established to address the unique requirements of the airplane's mission. The King Air SIRM is an FAA-approved manual, therefore this requirement is mandatory. The end result is a special inspection program specifically for the serial number of the airplane based on the mission profiles the airplane is flying. The inspection program is then listed in the Airworthiness Limitations Manual for the airplane under the Special Purposes section of the ALM. For operators who do not want their mission profiles to be known to the world, they can opt to have an SIRM supplement specifically for their serial number airplane. Beechcraft Engineering needs basic flight profile information to be able to perform the wing evaluation on your King Air. First, you need to collect as much information as available on the past, present, and future flight profiles for each mission the airplane has or is going to fly and send it to Beechcraft Customer Service along with the list of the STCs or modifications the airplane has installed and the total times and cycles at time of installation. In the event the future usage is not established due to the aircraft just entering into the projected role, Beechcraft Engineering can recommend a time for which data collection can occur to establish a representative future usage. The flight profile definition requirements provide the details engineering needs to perform the evaluation. You can also depict the flight profiles in a graph form as the example shown here. The process of developing a wing life evaluation is extensive and requires several departments' involvement from structures, certification, publications, etc. The cost to develop the evaluation depends on the level of study needed, which depends on the complexity of the flight profiles and can take up to nine months to complete due to interaction required with the regulatory authorities. The final published results of the evaluation establishes reduced inspection intervals, but does not add any additional locations to those defined in the SIRM and in some cases establishes new wing and component life limits depending on the model King Air. Once you have all the information required, you can contact King Air Technical Support. We will collect all the information and get you in contact with our contracts department.